court tonight with THT and Montrez, uh, and both of them had uh, individual performances, right? Plus the collective. Just wondered what you thought of their game and how that boosted your unit there. Um, you know, Trez was Trez, but um, man, um, THT had a, a hell of a game tonight, um, doing everything, getting downhill, getting into the paint. You know, that's one thing that you know we've really been trying to talk to him. You know, I've been trying to talk to him about is you know once he gets in the paint, it's probably you know one of the, one of the you know two or three best players to penetrate in the uh, paint and he's so gifted to um you know look weak side look strong side and hit guys and uh he did a great job with that tonight you know to have a 10 assists and um scoring as well so we had you on the pregame show on spectrum and you were talking about how playmaking is kind of that one area where you still want to grow uh, and improve with the rest of your game. And tonight you had a, a, a number of kind of nice setup passes uh, on the interior. Was there anything that you were reading in, in the, the game that helped that along tonight? Uh, I guess I just spoke it into existence. Um, you know, it's funny, but um, no, I was just, you know, playing the game of basketball, you know, just trying to make the right reads every time uh, somebody came to me, um, you know, somebody stepped up, hit Trez a couple of times and, I'm just trying to make the right basketball play every time down and, uh, you know, play winning basketball. And since you had such a strong game and you won, uh, can I ask you about the air ball technical free throw? Yeah, San Francisco had a um, 3.5 magnitude earthquake and shit started rumbling. And um, I don't know, I got scared and just went over to the far left. Uh, Dan? Well, that was going to be my question, too, so that's not as fun. Um, no, um, when a night like this, when 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 the passing is so crisp, do you think that's contagious with the, with a the team? Super contagious. Um, you know, it, it's just a fun brand of basketball, and that's the type of basketball we have to play while AD's out. You know, I think that's um, you know one of the funner games we've had as a team this season. Having I don't know how many assists we had, maybe a plus thirty assists. Um, and, you know, it's just fun. You know, everybody's touching the ball, everybody's moving, and you can't really guard it. You know, anytime you have that many assists, you're probably going to win the game. If Kyle, what's uh, AD like during these games on the sideline? And uh, is it like a leadership role? And do you think, I don't know, does he get excited for your guys' success? I think this is uh I think this this timeout has been great for AD. Um this is you know in the year and a half I've been with him and playing with him. This is probably the most vocal and um from a leadership standpoint he's been. And it's great to see. You know, anytime we have timeouts, he's always talking to guys. He's got his um he's got his iPad, um, you know, looking over plays and showing us on the on the bench talking and um it's just great, you know, especially for him. I think that's um the next step for him, especially when it gets back, is, uh, you know, being that type of leader that's talking. And, uh, you know, we respect him. You know, he's he's Anthony Davis, you know, and we know how great he is. And, you know, anytime he says something, we, we um, you know, we listen to it. So uh, we need more of it. Kyle? Um, hey, Coach. Um, you know, during, I think, that one winning streak when you guys were going to overtime a bunch of games and, and some of them were dragging out, it seemed like there were times maybe where you guys would kind of go through the motions or, or have some complacency. Do you think this this stretch where you've had so many injuries and kind of had to focus a little more has shaken some of that out of you guys? Um, yes and no. I think, um, you know, I think we're just all settled into a different type of brand of basketball. You know, it took a, took a little bit. And then we had, um, you know, some COVID protocols that messed us up. And um, now that we got kind of everyone back, minus Mark um, and AD, I think we've all settled into a different type of brand of basketball that we're playing. And, um, everybody's elevating their game uh, within that system. So, I'll take two more, Tony Deville. Hey, what's up, Kyle? Um, this season, you know, I, I've noticed that you know, this, you got like a different bounce going on, and I'm just wondering. Do you look at this season as an opportunity for you to, or do you look at yourself as, you know, one of the leaders going forward, you know, aside from LeBron and AD, amongst the other guys, you've been here, you know, longer than the other guys on the team. You know, I'm just wondering if you are taking on that role and, and look at yourself as one of the leaders as well, especially with AD being down. 
Um, I just think uh, as a team, and I think, um, you know, the best teams in the world, uh, any any sport, um, any sport, it's, it's, it's always player-led clubs. Um, and, and, you know, I think that, you know, everybody's a leader in their own right. Uh, everybody has uh, a voice. Everybody has an opinion. And um, I think everyone, you know, should exercise that because it only helps the team. You know, you know if you're quiet, you know, players don't know what you're thinking. And, you know, for me, I'm just trying to be out there and, um, you know, just, just try to, you know, exhaust, you know, every element of the game, just to try to get better. And uh, that's what I've done all year. And uh, it just helped me out. It's helped me become a complete player. It's helped me, um, you know, be in the right spot more talking and, and, you know, just, you know, helping guys out. You know, that's what I want to do. Last question, Leonardo. Hi, Carl. It's Leonardo Torres from Peru. Congrats on the win. Carl, about the team's identity, do you think you have found it on this season or not yet? Uh, are you talking about for our team or our individual as a team, um, yes. Um, well, no, I don't really think so. Um, I think we found a, a little bit of how we need to play right now, um, but I don't think we'll find our true identity until um, you know, you know, the playoffs. Whenever that starts, you know, when we get AD back, we get Gasol back, and we play yet again another type of basketball, and you know, we put it all together. I think that's when we'll you know, find our, our true identity. And obviously, um, you know, everything starts on a defensive end for us. You know, we're the number one defense in the league, and we take pride in that. But I think, um, you know, offensively, we have a few gears to uh, to level up on. And um, I think we'll find that, you know, towards playoffs. Thank you. Thanks, Kyle. Yep.